Good Thursday evening. I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Today, January 6th, marks one year since the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. It started from false claims by former President Donald Trump that the election was stolen. After a rally near the Capitol, supporters of the former president then gathered outside the Capitol and eventually got past security and police and made their way inside, where they caused damage and stole items, prompting politicians to seek cover. One person was shot and killed during this riot and several police officers were injured, some later dying by suicide. Despite all that, the election was eventually certified. And although that happened all the way in D.C., the impacts have been felt in communities all across the nation, including here in Kern County. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino spoke with a local political expert about how the events that day have impacted us here at home. She joins us now in studio with more. Good evening, Vanya. Good evening, Keely. Well, as those I spoke with explained, all politics is local politics. And here in Kern County, it did prompt some action from both the Democratic and Republican party groups. Our Videos like these are still shocking. But like political science professor Jeremy Adams explained, it didn't change opinion the way many thought it would. I don't think it changed uh, a lot of uh, opinions, but I do think it definitely cemented a lot of opinions. That is the case for both leaders of each respective party in Kern County. We're contrasting our policies, you know, compared to Joe Biden's and to, uh, and to Gavin Newsom's. You know, we're a party of law and order. You have the right to be safe. You have a right to uh, make a living and to keep more of your money in your pocket. This hatred, this distrust of government has been brewing for a while. Uh, it certainly was uh, expedited with the former president, uh, Donald Trump. And of course, you know that he incited the riots. He, he influenced the attack on the Capitol. Regardless, the events a year ago did result in some local action. And while Martin says they are focusing on contrasting Newsom's policies, Romo says they are working to increase voter registration and focusing on local races. What matters is the school board races, the city council races, these county races that affect you every day. And what that that attack on the Capitol has done is is, you know, motivate these people to never, ever again allow this to happen. Meanwhile, Professor Adams warns about the division that continues to this day. We are bounded by the Constitution. And let us not forget the first three words of the preamble. We the people. It is singular and it is capitalized. We are one people. And if we forget what binds us, which is our our our, our, our loyalty to the republic and to the constitution that creates that republic then we really will be lost well romo explained since the election in 2020 kern county continues to be mostly republican but they did see a slight increase in democratic registrations in the metro bakersfield area and coming up at six tonight adams talks more on how mistrust and misinformation in social media have contributed to this divide here and across the nation in studio vani patino 23 abc news connecting you